Don't do this. Save it for the hearing. It's not what Charlie wants. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Mr. Stein. I'll be presiding at this consent and capacity hearing. Which of you is Dr. Bell? I am. Dr. Bell, because you submitted your application first, you and your lawyer will be presenting first. Dr. Reed, you and your lawyer will have the opportunity to ask questions afterwards. No crosstalk. Let's begin. This is Charlie and I hiking in Colorado. He once said that if he couldn't do this, he wouldn't want to live. He once told me he couldn't live without pie. This proves that Dr. Harris valued a certain active quality of life. It's not proof of anything other than the fact that he went on a vacation. It's all useful. We're trying to establish Dr. Harris's values and his wishes. Let's move on. Here's an email dated June 2nd, 2003. Thank you. Charlie wrote, just got back from the ICU seeing my osteosarcoma man. Feeding tube, respirator, the whole nine yards. Don't let me go out like that, darling. Promise. Two months ago, you came to me, you looked me in the eye, and you said, try everything. You begged me, and now I'm doing all of that. Why, why the 180? Well, this is the thing. We have tried everything, and he's just degenerating. His hand moved. Once, two months ago. Involuntary movement happens in a persistent vegetative state. He's minimally conscious. If that's the best that we can hope for, then there is no hope. I feel that Charlie is here. I'm guided by that in everything I do. I know he wants to be kept alive. I believe that Charlie would want to die with dignity. He's still alive. And he'd want to be kept that way. I have chart extracts from two of Charlie's patients who became comatose. It shows that he's supportive of a full code status. Do you have uh, consent for the release of this patient information? Yes, I do. He's in the ICU. He's had pneumonia. He's a six on the Glasgow Coma Scale. He's basically a horizontal corpse. I know that sounds horrible, but that's how Charlie would have seen it. I see him every day, Dawn, unlike you, and I know he's here because I'm here. Dr. Reed wants to keep him alive because she can't bear to let him go. But she's too close to him to see what Charlie would have wanted. How? How can you be too close to the person you love? In the day of the accident, Charlie came to me and he asked me how many children I wanted to have. Charlie is a doctor. Above everything, he heals people. And as chief of surgery, he never gave up on a patient ever. Now he's the patient. He wouldn't want us to give up on him. Thank you for waiting. I've reviewed your statements and your documents and I've reached a decision. In the eyes of the court, a fiance and an ex-wife are the same. And I find that the person best able to execute the wishes of Charlie Harris is Dr. Bell. Dr. Reed, you obviously care deeply for him. But sometimes our feelings can't be our guide. I am sorry. on the way. How long has he Get been in b -fip? How long? Less than a minute. Oh, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Push two milligrams of Epi. Pushing two milligrams of Epi. Come on, Charlie. Turn to 360. Come on, Charlie. Stay with me. Charlie, come on. Come on. Alex, I have to get off. Everyone clear? Clear! clear. 
still in B5. Charlie! We're going again. Alex. Stop! Stop what you're doing. Melinda, do it. Melinda, do it! Claire! Claire, I'll clear. Come on, baby. Sinus rhythm, he's got a pulse. He's a DNR. Did you break his ribs? I don't think so. Because next time you will. Or worse. He's okay now, Don. No, he's not okay. He is. I would like you to remove him from the vent. No. Melinda, please. Don, listen to me. You just need to give him a little bit more time. You owe him that. Just some more time. That's all he needs. That's what we're doing. No. No. No, we are not. Don. Don. Please. Please. I am begging you. OK, look, I can see that you are in pain. OK, and I know that your heart, I can't breathe. Don is breaking, but so is mine. Change your mind. Because I love him. No. And I have always loved him, and I have never stopped. And I know that you don't want to hear that, but that is true. And I can't stand to see him in there like that suffering. So I am asking you, please, just let him die with some dignity. I can't. No. I can't let him No. Go. I don't know how to do this. Me neither. And I don't know what to do. I know, baby. Because it feels like I'm giving up on you. I know that's not true. And I am not giving up on you. I know. Oh, screw it. I can't. I can't do this. I won't do this. I will not say goodbye to you. I won't. That's my girl. You never let me go. Never let me go. I'm gonna miss your hands. I love you. Alex. I'm sorry. I know. Charlie, I am here, okay? You hold on. Tight. Charlie, can you hear me? <laughs> 